the young and the restless spoilers. Sharon Newman's descent into madness has taken a sharp and terrifying turn, pushing her to the edge of committing a crime so unspeakable that it could forever shatter the lives of everyone involved. The once kind, loving woman has been swallowed by the weight of her past, her guilt, and her growing paranoia. As she stands on the brink of no return, the voice of Cameron Kirsten, haunting her like a dark shadow, whispers insidiously in her ear. You've already become a murderer, Sharon. What's a few more bodies? You're afraid of prison, right? There's only one way to ensure you never get caught. Silence everyone. Erase the evidence. Cameron's voice is relentless, and in her fragile mental state, Sharon believes there is only one solution, she must kill Daniel and Lucy. Daniel Romilotti, a man who knows too much, and his daughter Lucy, an innocent but potential witness, now stand in the way of Sharon's warped sense of survival. Every instinct in her tells her to protect herself, to bury the past, and to destroy anyone who could expose her. Cameron's influence has become too powerful to resist. He has twisted Sharon's thoughts, leading her to believe that the only escape from her crimes is to silence Daniel and Lucy, permanently. It's a chilling plan, one that Sharon has convinced herself is for the greater good. After all, in her mind, this is not just about self-preservation. She truly believes that by eliminating them, she's protecting them from a future filled with pain and suffering. Cameron's manipulative voice continues to push her toward this terrifying decision, and Sharon is too far gone to see through the lie. The plan, dark and sinister, takes shape quickly in Sharon's mind, she will burn Daniel's house down. It's the simplest way to ensure no one can escape. Daniel and Lucy will die in the flames, trapped with no way out. Sharon tells herself that it will be quick, that they won't suffer, but deep down, she knows the truth. What she's about to do is monstrous, and yet she cannot stop. Cameron's presence feels inescapable, his voice now a constant in her mind, urging her forward with every step. The sense of urgency is overwhelming. Sharon knows she has to act fast, before Daniel realizes the danger he's in. She can't afford to hesitate, because if she does, Daniel will see through her facade. He's already suspicious, and if he connects the dots, everything will fall apart. Sharon's anxiety grows with every passing second. Time is running out, and she's convinced that Daniel is on the verge of discovering the truth about her involvement with Heather. And if Daniel knows, then Lucy will too. The thought of being exposed is too much for Sharon to handle, and so she pushes forward with the plan. As the night falls and the darkness envelopes Genoa City, Sharon makes her way toward Daniel's house, prepared to set her plan in motion. The fire will be swift, she tells herself. It will consume everything, destroy the evidence, eliminate the witnesses. In her warped state of mind, she believes this is the only way to protect herself. She doesn't think about the consequences or the lives she's about to take. All that matters is escaping the nightmare she's created for herself. But as Sharon approaches the house, there is a flicker of hesitation. Deep down, a small part of her, the part that still clings to her humanity, questions what she's about to do. Is this really the only way? Can she live with the knowledge that she's responsible for the deaths of an innocent father and daughter? For a brief moment, Sharon wavers, but Cameron's voice is there again, cold and insistent. Do it, Sharon. There's no turning back now. If you don't act, they'll expose you, and you'll lose everything. Meanwhile, Nick Newman and Mariah Copeland are racing against time, desperate to stop Sharon before she does something she can never undo. Both of them have sensed that something is terribly wrong. Mariah, who has been investigating Sharon's erratic behavior, knows that her mother is hiding something dangerous. Nick, ever protective, refuses to let Sharon spiral out of control. He's determined to find her and bring her back before it's too late. As they close in on Daniel's house, Nick and Mariah fear the worst. Sharon's recent actions have become more and more unstable, and they can't shake the feeling that she's planning something horrific. The idea that Sharon, the woman they love, could be capable of murder is unthinkable, but the signs are there. They both know that Cameron's influence has been growing stronger, and it's only a matter of time before he pushes Sharon to commit an unspeakable act. When Nick and Mariah arrive at the scene, they are confronted with a horrifying sight. Sharon, standing near Daniel's house, holding the tools to start the fire. There's no mistaking her intent. She's about to burn the house down, with Daniel and Lucy inside.